Today I'll be showing you how you can have this monitor, AOC portable monitor work for your MacBook Pro. So I purchased it today and I was hoping that I just plug it in and it just works, but apparently it's not as simple as that. You need to actually have a driver installed in your device. So the driver that we need to install is in a website called displaylink.com. So once you're here, you need to select Mac OS. Obviously that's what you need to install it to. And then you have the option, you know, to install the public beta or the legacy downloads. That's what we want to do legacy because this is probably going to be more, uh, you know, bug free, hopefully, I don't know. So you can see it says Catalina and Mojave. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, but my monitor is running the most recent OS, which is the Catalina. So this should work completely fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, download this file. And you can see this is the USB graphics software for Mac OS 5.2.5. Again, guys, this all depends on what you know, OS you have, I have Catalina is why I'm downloading this. If you have something else, you just need to go through the list and install that. So I'm gonna scroll down, you have a software license agreement that you need to accept. So I'm gonna do that. And it's going to, you know, give you the option to save or open with. I'm just gonna do open with and press okay. And it's going to, all right, open up that zip file and we going, we should see that little DMG pop up here right here so we have the display link software installer we're going to go ahead double click on this and just like installing any sort of driver for your uh, computer you just need to go through the list of items on the left side i'm going to go ahead and click the continue option accept whatever this is and install continue installation and i'm going to go ahead and use my touch id to give it the uh, you know whatever it needs. Here we get a pop-up saying we need to open security preferences. So that's what you're gonna do. We're gonna click that and you can see it. So system software from developer or whatever was blocked from loading. So to actually give it the access that it needs, we're just gonna have to click on the padlock here and then I'm gonna use my touch ID again. If you have a password, you can just put that in, whatever. And it might take some time here, guys, if you have a touch ID and there you go. I'm just gonna select the option to allow and wait for it to complete the installation. All right, so the installation is complete. We do need to re restart our device. So let's go ahead and select the restart option. All right, so I'm restarting my device here. And I already have this plugged in, so we might need to unplug it. Oh, it, it is flashing something. All right, never mind. It was flashing a little bit of light there. Um, still loading. God, I have a lot of smudges here. All right, let me go ahead and put my password in. So it's loading. Uh, okay, whatever. All right, so it just reopened all my, you know, Windows. Whatever, it's fine. So I'm gonna go to privacy here and scroll down and see if there's a new option right here. So you see how in screen recording you have the display link user. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Uh, we're gonna have to quit now and here it's flashing Okay Nothing yet All right, just went to black and there we go. So we finally have that display working Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you have make sure to like and subscribe you can see I'm playing with it um, And I will see you guys in the next one. It's not really difficult to do guys. It's a little bit you know, a couple extra steps here and there, but you can definitely get this to work for your MacBook.